Producing food, timber and other commodities is essential for meeting consumer needs all over the world. But these needs can't be met indefinitely if nature is not prioritized. For example, when production expands into natural areas, it reduces biodiversity and the benefits the natural environment provides. These benefits include reducing the impacts of climate change and helping to protect us from flooding. Losing these benefits can make production less reliable. Or when production processes become too intense, this leads to water shortages and pollution. Understanding the global impacts of consumption is complex. Supply chains are global and goods are often eaten or used thousands of miles away from where they are produced. Goods often travel through several countries before reaching their final destination, which isn't well captured in trade data. The product at the end of the supply chain might look very different to what is needed to produce it, which is also not well captured in trade data. For example, palm oil may be an ingredient in your shampoo, or soy might be used to feed the chicken that you eat. All of this makes it very hard to assess how robust supply chains are and what impact they have on the natural environment. But JNCC and partners have developed a groundbreaking tool to help us understand the environmental impacts of what we eat, use and buy. Commodityfootprints.earth estimates the environmental impacts of consumption anywhere on the planet, including biodiversity loss, water use, tropical deforestation and other environmental pressures. The interactive dashboard lets you see what the impacts are. Where in the world they occur, how this is changing through time and the commodities linked to the impact. This will help countries to understand the environmental impacts of their consumption and target their policies in investments where they will help the most. Countries can then work together through trade or aid to solve the problems linked to their consumption. If you want to find out more, go to www.commodityfootprints.earth or send your questions in to info at commodityfootprints.earth.